Hi guys, okay, so I was really inspired. I bought um, the NARS makeup book. I don't know if you can see it. Then you take it out. Does it look like this? Um, what I love about this book is, um, not only is it by NARS, which I absolutely love, but it shows you the faces prior to having any makeup, and then it shows you the um, lithograph like over it to work where to put the makeup and then the finished product after that. Okay, so the first thing I do before I ever start anything is wash my face. So you can either use the makeup pads that I showed you in my previous videos. Another tip I use is I always put cold water on my face in the morning, it closes your pores and it just makes your skin feel a little tighter. So that's what I do. Pure Emu Oil. Now it's from the Ab Aborigines <laughs> and um, Australia, and it's basically an oil that's used by you know from thousands of years by Aborigines uh, solutions for your skin, your hair. It also reduces the pain and swelling of arthritis, sunburn, insect bites, and stings. Um, and it also eliminates the or reduces the depth and length of fine lines and wrinkles. And I believe in starting that early. So what I do. I do take a little bit and I pour it on my finger and I get dry right around my nose. So I put it right there and on the sides and maybe right here, just a little bit. And I put it in here, my T-zone basically. But I will tell you that I, um, well actually, you know what, I'm not gonna tell you. I will do another video on it um, as to what else this can cure and it is absolutely amazing. Again. You can get it on Amazon.com. I definitely would. You can read the reviews yourself and see what amazing product. The thing I do is um, my eyebrow routine, which you can see in another video. And then the second thing I do, of course, is prep my skin. And how I do that is my favorite product. It's called the Pore Professional from Benefit Lightweight Pore Minimizer. <laughs> Min minimizer. <laughs> I always get so tongue-tied. Okay, so I put a little bit on my finger and I just bring it down here by my nose, right here in my cheeks, and then a little bit in my T-zone. And I have it in the color Ginger. It's like my little concealer stick. And I'm just gonna find like the spots that um, are old problem areas and I'm gonna cover those up. My next favorite concealer is going to be the Lemonade, also by Benefit. I guess I should say that Benefit's probably my third favorite product line. Now what I do with this, it comes with a cute little mirror, um, but what I do with this is I go underneath my eye, on my eye, and underneath that little cheekbone right there. And I use this as kind of a highlighter. My Max filament to go underneath my eyebrows a little bit more. And then I'm also gonna take it in my waterline. Just to take my eyebrow pencil and Spiked from MAC and I'm gonna fill in any stragglers as I'm growing it out. I am going to take my MAC um, Mineral Eyeshadow. It's called Engaging. You can kinda see that. I don't know if you can see the color a little bit. I absolutely love their Mineral Eyeshadow. I think they're absolutely beautiful. And I'm gonna fill in and pat down the color right here. All over the eyelid. And I'm gonna go about halfway. I'm really not gonna fill in the ends. I'm just gonna focus on the front part. Which is right here by the corner of my eye. And I'm going to put it in the darker color of my shadow. gonna bring it up and in the corner 
and I'm gonna bring it halfway into my eye. Okay, so right up in here, past the mid, up a little bit towards the brow bone, and outward. Now keep an eye out for your eyebrow. You don't want to go past your eyebrow. That's kind of your fence, if you will. And just pat it on. Don't swipe, just pad. And if you need to get any excess off, just take your finger and wipe it down. You definitely want to blend. You don't want it to look cakey. I use Studio Fix. I don't use that much foundation. Um, I will if I just feel like my skin is blotchy, but usually during the summer, I try not to wear as much foundation. So I just use the NARS concealer and then my Studio Fix. So I'm gonna take a little bit of that. By the way, my Studio Fix is an NC35 for right now, because I do get out in the sun a little bit and I get a little darker. So I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna dab it underneath my eyes. What I do love about Studio Fix is if you do have any breakouts um, that you're dealing with, it does tend to cover those up fairly nicely. I use All May Liquid Liner and it is in brown. You can see it. I personally like this kind. I've stuck with it for years. Um, it might not be for everyone, but I like it. It has a pointed tip. And then I just make sure that I don't have too much liquid on the ends. And then I show you what I do. I find where the bottom of my lashes are and I start making a line outward to follow my lash line. The illusion I want to create is that it's actually one of my lashes. And then I'm gonna attach it down through here. So see, it's definitely a clear look. It's Okay, so the next product I'm gonna use for the lashes is L'Oreal's Voluminous. I prefer waterproof. You can always take it off. And basically what I do, especially when I have these extensions, I definitely don't want to um, put too much mascara on, but I'm just gonna highlight my eyelashes and make sure they're sitting with the other as well. But the Lip liner from Cream Ola. I love that because it's nude, so you're not gonna see this liner um, all over your lips. And I'm just gonna line my Cupid's bow. with my lip color. It is their MAC Lip Plush Glass, so it has like a little plumping effect to it. And I got it in Bountiful, which I absolutely love. And you're gonna want to stay just in the bottom parts and the top part that you did not color in. I like that. And then my last thing that I'm going to do is my blush. I'm gonna take Max Dame, D-A-M-E, and I'm gonna find the contours of my cheeks right along the bone and bring it all the way up. Now I like mine a little bit more towards my nose. I have a square face, so I'm gonna play with those angles a little bit. This is 
my everyday look. It was definitely inspired by NARS. They were very natural um, makeup guides in the book and I could wear this to work on a date or every day. So hope you guys like it and my next video is going to be on curling your hair and getting that beachy wave um, without a lot of fuss or having to sit in your bathroom for hours. Alright girls, thanks so much.